Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So very recently, uh, a coach that I've been working with one-on-one, -on -one, uh, we've managed to reach a, a huge milestone with his business. Uh, he's managed to achieve six figures with his soccer training business. And essentially the model that he uses is small group training. So a couple of issues that he was having uh, when he first started the business was he was doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions. He felt that he wasn't really getting anywhere with the business. He wasn't charging enough for the sessions. He wanted to go into groups, but he didn't know how to transition into groups. Um, he was lacking organization. He didn't have proper systems in place. So if those things are you, you want to reach out to me, you want my help, description below, you'll be able to uh, reach out to me personally. Now, I want to share with you a sort of behind the scenes of four areas of his business that I have helped him and that we have worked together to get his business to 100k per year. So four areas that, that I look at when I, I work with coaches and I try and push them to get into that six figure um, mark. So the first one is niche specific training. So something we did with this coach when we started working together is essentially we, we narrowed down his niche, right? So we narrowed down what age group he wanted to work with, what skill level of players that he wanted to work with, and what type of training he wanted to offer. So at this point, he's working with players between the ages of 12 to 15. The skill level that he's working with is elite type of players. So these are players that want to progress into playing academy uh, soccer, academy football. Um, and the type of training that he does with those players that he works with is technical training plus fitness. So a lot of the training that he does is very uh, focused on both the technical aspects of the game, plus he incorporates a lot of the fitness and SAQ. So speed, agility, and quickness type of training for the players. Um, the reason why he, he implements that type of training is because he feels that for the niche that he wants to work with, that's something that they need a lot of help with in order to help them to get to the next level. OK, so as you can see, he's become very niche specific. He knows what age group he wants to work with. So all his marketing, all his promotion is geared toward towards that age group. And he knows now essentially what his product and his service is. Now, the next bit is he's become a results driven company. OK, so he's tailored his training program to his group. OK, so any players that come into his program, they are fitted around the philosophy of his training. OK, so essentially what he enjoys doing now is he enjoys working with small groups. OK, all his groups are of no more than 10 players. Uh, all the training is geared towards technical training incorporated with fitness, right? And all the groups is essentially train that specific or same type of way, okay? All the, all the group sizes are the same. And the reason why he's stuck to the 10, 10 players per group is because he wants to ensure that each individual is given that individual attention at his training sessions, okay? Along with that, he has noticed that that amount of players per group has allowed him to get great results, which also has allowed him to provide regular feedback to players and to provide progress reports on a monthly basis to parents. So working with a limited amount of players allows him to provide them more individual attention, which in turn allows him to get greater results with the players that he wants to work with. Third area of the business that we worked a lot with 
um, helping him to build was essentially building relationships. Okay. So in this type of industry, you've got to remember it's a person business industry, right? You're working with human beings. You're not working with soccer players. You're not working with footballers. You're not working with athletes. You're essentially working with human beings. They're human beings first, and then they are soccer players. So what does that mean? That means if you are in the person business industry, means that you've got to build strong relationships with the clients and customers that you're working with. So what this coach has done is allowing him to work with a more limited amount of players has allowed him to build stronger relationships with the families that he works with. This also in turn has allowed him to get greater results and the referrals from parents in his business have been a lot better because they are of a specific type of personnel, okay? So any pay player or parent that has referred another like-minded person to this coach's company, that person that has been referred has been of a more specific type of person and of a high quality type of, of client, which has resulted in his business becoming a lot better because he's managed to base his groups on um, players of a similar type of personality, a similar type of commitment, a similar type of um, skill level and a mentality of long-term progress um, with the program, okay? Now, something he's also done that has allowed him to grow as well is partnering up with local clubs or offering free workshops. So something that this coach does really well and something that we've worked with him and he does on a monthly basis is he contacts clubs and teams on a monthly basis and he goes in and he offers free training sessions. Okay, so what he'll do is he'll do a, a research on that club. He'll find out which team within, um, which team, which uh, coaches, which players at that club aren't getting that personal attention, aren't getting that help from the club. And he'll go in, speak to the directors of the club or the presidents, and he will try to arrange to work with that team. So he might go in and do one training session per month, or he might go in and do two training sessions per month. And in turn, what that allows, it allows him to get in front of more players, get in front of more coaches, get in front of more parents. And in the long term, a lot of those players have then become customers in his private training business, okay? Because they built a relationship with him through those free training sessions. And they've noticed that during those free training sessions that he has provided to those club teams, he's managed to get great results with the players and the parents have built a good relationship with him, which then has allowed him to get more customers and those customers have now become clients in his private training business. Now, the next bit of the year of, of the business that we've worked very closely with him is the membership model. Okay. So he's built a men membership model now into his business, which is limited to around 50 players uh, per group. Okay. So 50, 50 players, essentially, he works at a time in his group training program. So what that happens is he's got five groups of 10 players that he works with, and he doesn't go over those 50 players. Now, the players that are interested in joining this program or want to join, what he does is he puts them on a waiting list, and then he organizes... Uh, training sessions which they are open group so essentially they're training sessions for the players on his waiting list that want to get into his elite program 
So that way they still they still get the opportunity to work with him, but it's more on an irregular basis. So instead of doing week to week, it might be one training session per month um, or one training session per, per every two to three weeks. But they're still able to train with him. And then what he does from those players, he uses it as a scouting program to then move those play, players on the waiting list into his elite program once um, a player leaves the, the elite program or a space in the program has become available. So this coach is limited to 50 players, five groups of 10. He doesn't go over it. He doesn't work with 51, 52 or 53 players. He's very strict on that 50 number, but he does over have a waiting list group session that he does, which he works with those players on the waiting list. They get to train with him and then he transfers the, the ones that he feels are a good fit into his elite program once a, a spot becomes available. Now, the ones in his elite program, those are on recurring payments. Okay, so they are on monthly payments that essentially it's an online payment that goes out every single month um, and parents are paying and they're part of a membership type of program in his company. So every single month, he's got a software that he uses and that software bills the parents every single month. Now, he's got contracts with those players and parents and the contract is very strict. And it states that any missed payment or any payment that hasn't been made and hasn't been followed up, a player gets taken out of the program and replaced by one that gets on, that is on the waiting list. Okay. So he has a very strict process in place. He's he's very organized. Um, and he has this, this model now that it is a sought after program. A lot of parents really want to be part of it because they've seen the results that he's got with the players and families that he's worked with. And he know, and a lot of the parents know that if they join, they will get the results, they will get looked after, and they will become part of a really great training company. Okay. So it wasn't always like this. Like I said, at the beginning, there was a lot of things, areas of the business that we worked with him with. So if you want similar results, you want more help, reach out to me. We can implement this into your business, working one-on-one -on -one, uh, if you want to get to the next level. Okay, thank you for watching. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.